welcome back to Eastward, where I think we are about to break this time loop. By that I mean I really, really, really hope that we're about to break this time loop, because uh, yeah, it's getting a bit annoying seeing this uh, the same event over and over and over again. The good news is that we are learning and we are progressing with each day, and uh, yeah, the latest thing is we've just had to deliver a message, a letter to Frank here. So I think we've done here, done in the train graveyard, time to head back to Thomas. And I've just noticed we can actually fast travel there, so that is awesome. Let's let's go. Let's do the fast travel thing. Okay, and inside. We finished delivering everything. You just missed him. Captain already left with Thomas. Heard them mumbling something about the... What was it again? All right, the Eternal Tower. Not sure why, though. Nothing and no one to see there. There's not even a way to get inside, since that door is always closed. Can't imagine what they'd be up to in a place like that. John, did you hear that? Let's go. Oh, okay. I mean, we just got back there, but fine. So where's this Eternal Tower? Are you... Are you serious? It was right at the top of where we just were. Well, <laughs> okay. Maybe we wouldn't have missed them if we hadn't fast traveled. What do you, uh, what do you all, uh, what are all you guys doing here? Allow us to reintroduce, to reintroduce ourselves, would ye? Captain Pam. Codename Knight at your service. Ivan here. Codename Monk. I'm Guy. Codename Hunter. Thomas. Codenames Mage and Thomas the Just. Frank. Codename Priest. <laughs> okay. So not fair. Still can't believe Thomas gets two codenames. I can't believe you're still bringing this up after all these years. Do we really have to say the name again at this age? It's, well, embarrassing. Embarrassing, is it? And who was it that came up with the name in the first place, huh? Enough already, you curvy dogs. Now then, we are... The Rocket Knight Legion. W wait isn't that from Earthborn? On the money, us five, we're the originals. And you're our princess, mother. Don't call me that, I'm Sam. Hate to interrupt all the fun we're having, but I'm afraid our time's quickly running out. The good man is right. Seeing all me mateys again has just uh, about wiped the real issue clean from my mind. Ha 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 ha. We've got a gift for you. A gift? If you would, Frank. The Sonic Punk! Greetings, lab assistants Sam and John. The Sonic Punk reporting for duty. Mr. The Sonic Punk! Where did you go? I sustained damage due to interference in Esther City, but Master Guy repaired me. It was no trouble at all, really. Though I have to say, I would love to see whoever created this little guy. I'm not sure you could find talent like that even here in Esther City. Oh right, I may or may not have given him some new functionality. New functionality? Searching for Isabel. Signal found, signal found. That's right, check it out. I call it the Time Anchor Radar. Using Ivan's theories, I discovered some, well, Let's just call them special things within the time field. They're reflecting projections in the form of sound and waves, which is where the time anchor radar comes from. It scrounges all that complicated wave activity and latches onto the fleeting projections. And by the looks of it, he's already found something too. Come on, guys. Really? You couldn't have waited till I was done talking. <laughs> Looks like he's found something. <laughs> Search complete. Found Isabel. 
You did it! Isabel! Isabel, hey! Finally, after all this time. Are you listening up there, you godforsaken? You better open that damn mouth of yours. Because this thorn in your throat is coming in. I'm going up, and I'm going to end this once and for all. Alva. Alva! Alva's here too? What? Who's there? Show yourself. Isabel. Can you see me, huh? Isabel, I'm right here. Must be seeing things. Come on, let's go. That door leads to Solomon's hideout, and the only thing that can open it is the Flame of Time. The Flame of Time? It's an invention of Solomon's. A ball of concentrated energy, basically. The bloke's dead now, though, ain't he? Then where could the flame have run off to? Ahem. Mind if I say a few words? If Isabel was able to find the flame, then Isabel is our clue. If we follow her, we should be able to find the flame. Looks like we're gonna have to rely on this little guy, then. Okay, so we've got to find Isabel. Um... But... The deep shadow in the empty cage swallows up all light. Uh, like, but where? How? how? Oh, I wonder what uh, myself of the past would have to say about all this. If I had a guess, we'd probably already curse the door by now. Then left to drown your sorrows back at the dock. Heh. <laughs> Don't remember you having uh, this much of a mouth on you, Frank. Must be from hanging out with this smart mouth robot all the time. Taint just my imagination, is it? Or does that tower actually look older? Random aside, Thomas. But how in the world did you keep yourself occupied on that island all by yourself? Oh, you know, fishing, growing stuff. And if my hip wasn't acting up, playing a few rounds of Earthborn. Ha! You must be an expert by now, then. Nah, nah, I mean, I can just squeak out a win if I'm lucky. If I had some pix balls, though. Damn, the fact that you can beat it without pix balls is talent enough. I'm talking Earthborn Master here. Pretty sure not even guys that done that. Oh, ha ha ha, so funny. As if anyone could be better than the creator of the game himself. And as if I've never seen you sneak in a pix ball or two during battle. Winning without using any pix balls is an impressive feat, but not using any pix balls? Well, that's just no fun at all. Um, you should know that. Uh, you should know that better than any of us, mother. No, no, uh, nope, nope, Sam. What else Thomas got to say? Nobody's changed a bit. Have to admit, I feel a bit out of sorts myself jumping back in so quickly. Okay, so there's nothing to do here, so. Like, where. Okay, what, what's the mission? Isabel must have left other messages around Esther City. Let's use the Sonic Punk to find them. Okay. Hmm. There. Oh, wait. I know. The, uh... The hotel. Right? We know she was there. Okay, let's head on up. Haha. -ha. Professor Ivan, are you here? He must not be back yet. You think he'd be mad if we let ourselves in? Of course he'd be mad. It's Ivan the monk. Shh! Ixnay on the Unkme. <laughs> Nikita hears this, and I'll be a complete laughingstock. <clears throat> anyway, if you guys have come all the way here, then. The Sonic Punk found a signal. It's coming from your room. 
Then, it's true. I knew I saw her. I knew it. Excuse me, but could we come inside? You're gonna come in, even if I say no, aren't you? Then, I suppose there's nothing for it. I'll open the door. Is this some kind of dungeon? The mouth on this girl. This is my lab, I'll have you know. Lab? I've been researching ever since you left. Extensive research on the Eternal Tower. Only, time hasn't exactly allowed me to make much progress. What was it that made you come back here, then? I wanted to see that ghost with my own eyes. You mean Isabel? Yes, Isabel. This is Professor Ivan? He's nothing but a batty old kook. Batty old kook, this upstart! Through the mist, the discovery and analysis of the temporal perspective, metaphorical representations of time in ancient lessons, the psychological structure of time in the future. What a bunch of useless crap. <laughs> Say that again, you damn kid! Hmm. What's this? Don't touch that! Damn projection. Ivan's diary. The time field has been activated, and so I will write this diary. So as not to lose myself within the single endless day. Interesting. There may be something useful in here yet. Karen arrives tomorrow. The time field will be lifted. But I fear that the miasma will swallow Esther City whole. The only way to defeat Solomon is to ascend the Eternal Tower. It seems Nikita l likes the pudding from the supermarket. And more useless crap. Damn projection. I've searched all across Esther City. Solomon has hidden the flame. All that's left is... What are you doing? You're not reading my diary, you hear? I need to know where the flame is. This is my room and my things, and I'll get it for you. Damn ghost. <laughs> What's wrong? She ripped out the page. Keep up the search, yeah? There must be more clues than just this somewhere in the city. Oh, come, that, that was a good clue as well. Like, that was all I had, really. Okay, where else would Sam have gone? Not Sam, Isabel. Any other ideas? What about here? No, this is Johnny's Emporium. What about the garage? Anything here? You may not look at the guy used to be one of the world's leading robot scientists. The emotion ship, his invention. Okay, no, nothing there. What about down here? No. Um. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're all sent. Oh, okay, we can't fast travel while downstairs. Which makes sense. Okay, I think maybe what about that church at the top of uh, the, the top of the town? Uh, so let's go back to the dock. Let's check inside. Uh, there's nothing back there. Anything here? Ooh. Isabel! How strange. Yesterday, I was told Karen would arrive at the Eternal Tower tonight. 
Then today, I'm told yet again that I have to wait until tomorrow. In fact, everything today has been exactly the same as yesterday. Almost as if yesterday never even happened. You don't think... Time here is the same as it was back in that fog? Come on, these guys have clearly never heard of time loops. Isabel, this must have been before she found whatever it was that led her to Solomon. Let's look somewhere else, Mr. The Sonic Punk. There must be more clues for us to find. Searching for Isabel. Oh, what's this? It's been 13, no, 15 days now since I arrived in Esther City. My memory's getting worse and worse. If that Ivan fellow's research is correct, then today will always be the day after the time field was activated, and also the day before Karen arrives at the Eternal Tower. Except that tomorrow never arrives in Esther City. Then the key... Damn, I can't let myself forget. The Flame of Time. Yes, the key to that tower is the Flame of Time. I'm gonna find it, Alva. I am, so just wait for me. Okay, but where is it? Also, I'm wondering, are we supposed to have activated these things in a particular order? Oh, wait, what happened? Okay, well, I was just walking here, and it looked like this uh, random tile activated. The only person to die in the city that never dies. The only person to die in the city that never dies. Ugh, what does it mean? You don't think I've already solved it once, do you? My memory's getting more and more fuzzy. If I'm not able to find that flame, then... We'll end up losing ourselves completely to this place. Damn it, I'm definitely missing something. I'm gonna have to drop by there again. There? Where is there? Let's try asking Thomas. He's gotta know something. Okay. Thomas, Captain. The only person to die in the city that never dies? Do you know what this could mean? Where's that supposed to be? You guys aren't thinking of every possible place. Oh, look at you, Mr. Know-it-all. And how would you know? You don't even live here, shacked up on that island all these years. Wait, that island. It wasn't the island of time, was it? It was. But we just came from there. Solomon. That's it. That old bobblehead must not actually be dead. Ah, then mayhap his secrets are all buried in his grave. Then let's go. Come on, John. Let's go back to the island of time. Thanks, guys. She's thanking us. Ha! Quite the 180 compared to Mother's former solemnity. Always had a crease in that brow, did she? She did. <laughs> and it was only when playing Earthborn that she'd crack a smile. Listen up, mateys. The day has finally arrived for our dream to come to fruition. We weigh anchor. For the island of time. Uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be waiting for you at the dock, lass. Roger that, Captain. We're gonna find that flame... that flame we are. It's freezing out here. I'll never get used to the weather on this island. Hellish, really. This is the edge of time f uh, field. The winds are the worst out here. Everyone here, then? Ain't no time to be grousing around the weather, lads. Up with you now. After me. Getting real tired of how damn cold it is here. Floyd! Floyd! That rust encrusted cog for brains, where is he? He was here when we were here earlier. 
I'm not sure what we hope to accomplish with him anyway. No part of Solomon's is going to be filling us in on any secrets. Search complete. Found Isabel. Come out, you two are you two I toned freak. I know you are you aren't actually dead. There you are. Hand over the flame of time now. Or are you gonna force me to take it myself? Just what is it you want, girl? Riches, power, or perhaps to live forever. Now that you're in Esther City, you have everything you could possibly need. Not even death has any influence over you here. Yes, why then? Why go to all of this trouble to get into that tower? Don't patronize me, old man. Ho ho ho. Then it would seem you already understand. However, does that mean you're fully prepared? I'll do anything to save Alva. Ha 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 ha. Brilliant. Absolutely, positively brilliant. What is it that moves you so? That's given you such drive. Loyalty, perhaps? Friendship? Or could it be love? Oh my, still a ball of fire, I see. Take it then, take the flame of time. And ascend the eternal tower. And take what it is you so desire. Love, loyalty. I'm coming, Alva, and I'm going to find a way to save you. So that's it? Solomon gave Isabel the Flame of Time? Arr, that was your friend, was it? Yeah, that was Isabel. She took the Flame of Time. Well, that sure does put us in a fix now, doesn't it? Solomon's buried right here. If only Floyd were here. Captain Pam, ship's docked. That noise, it sounds like you just stepped on something. What's this now? It's Solomon's grave. But there's no one in it. Wait a minute, I've got it. If that crazy kook isn't actually dead, then what would be a better place for him to hide his secrets? Good point. Come on, John, let's go check it out. Hold your horses there, you scurvy dogs. When next the bell tolls, us old folks will very well forget what's happened here today. But if you need us, well, you can bet we'll be there, sure as a sur sturgeon. You guys... Go on, then. Just like before, really. We'll keep an eye on things back here. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, let's go down and check it out. There's, uh, there's no map here, is there? Oh, hello. Have a shop. And buy energy drinks. Uh, ammo refill packs. Cool. Uh, I don't really have the money for it. Come on. We can cook, of course. Oh, 
I see. We can do something there, can't we? What is this? Okay, we could have gone that way as well. Oh, you know what we're doing. Wait, get them hot orbs. Okay, and we're back here, but we're on the top levels now. Okie dokie. Oh! Oh, come on, that was terrible. Okay, can't see anything there. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get attacked there. So, let's head down this way. And take a look over here. Okay, Sam, do your thing. Oh, right. How very salty. Um... Oh, okay. Um, are we gonna have to use... There we are. Alright. Whoa. Another advanced gear pop. Very good. This way. Okay, got some octopus as well. Tis good, guys. Tis good. Mm, 
How far is this? Come on, buddy. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, um, I'm thinking these bombs are not as good maybe as these ones. Okay, that's not so great. Wasn't really paying attention to my life. So, let's try that again. Time to heal. Let's go with the... Uh, what are we going with? Let's go with the... Uh, let's go with the meat stew. Oh, rats, out of ammo. Oh, God, these dogs. Should we, maybe we should switch to Sam. Let's try something. One down. Oh! Jeez. Guys, what is going on? What is going on? Fish sandwich time. Worst and most annoying enemy yet. Most annoying enemy yet. This dog. <coughs> oh, I think he was glitching out for a second there. Okay. And onward. Okay. Sh 
Sweet. Get them gear parts. Uh, what is down here? Okay, that's good. That's our bombs replenished. And we'll explode that. Opens the gate, does it? Okay. How do we? So then John's gonna have to stay here. And Sam is gonna have to go around. Hmm. Oh no, I know. Um, so we're going to have to leave that. Sam, come and clear a path for John. And then you guys come like so. Voila. And then you go like so. And you obtain the key. Get in there. Taking any nonsense. Come on. This is a pretty cool, um. Well, it's not his graveyard, is it? It's a pretty cool fake grave. Ooh. Most curious. Okay, um, I'm guessing Sam has to do something here. Is this the flame of time? Obtain flame of time, sweet. And the day resets to be continued. 